Hey ladies, uh, so after I posted the picture yesterday, um, a lot of you have been coming to me and asking how I did the little rosette tie on the Irma that I wore. So I wanted to do a little video to show you. So here's a little bit more of an up close of what the tie looks like. It's very simple and easy. I love this tie because one, it's decorative and just pretty. Um, but the other side is it can really kind of cinch in and bring in um, some of the bigger pieces um, they aren't quite as form-fitting. So when you're wanting to go for maybe a little form-fitted look or dressier look, this is an awesome tie. But the best part is it is so simple to do. Um, so I'm going to show you both with this. I have an Irma on. Um, I'm also going to show you how to do it on a Carly, which really changes the look of the Carly and is super, super cute. So um, again, this is what the finished thing looks like. So it's very simple to do. Let me kind of reverse out of it real quick so I can show you. Um, so all I have are just two little hair rubber bands. You can use this type of rubber band or you can get the, um, the really little tiny clear um, either braces rubber bands or like the little teeny tiny hair rubber brand bands. Um, those probably are going to be best just because they're clear so you don't take a chance of that rubber band showing. Um, but all you do is you pick out where you want your tie. So with the Irma, I prefer mine kind of in the front. Um, and you just pull through, you know, a generous amount. So with the Irma, because I like it really cinched up, I'm going to pull through a lot more. So um, once I get that kind of pulled up, and at first I'll just hold it in place as I kind of get the shirt where I want it, make sure I don't have, you know, pulled way down in front or anything, I get it even. Then I'm going to go ahead and wrap the rubber band around two or three times so I have just a little ponytail sticking out there. Um, then to make the rosette, it's very simple. You're just going to flatten down this big poof here and get it um, evenly spread around that bottom rubber band. Um, and then you're going to take your other rubber band and just wrap it around over top You are going to most likely want to wrap it around, depending on the size of the rubber bands you're using, you'll probably wrap it around twice. Um, but just wrap it right around that bottom rubber band. Um, and once you have it oops, wrapped around, then you can kind of fluff out. Make sure that your top rubber band is good and down over top of the bottom one so it doesn't pop off. I kind of, what I'll do is I'll get my thumbs up underneath and just kind of push in and then um, push down with my fingernails on this top one. And then you just kind of fluff out the sides to make your little rosette look. Um, it will stay in place all day long. I did this to my shirt yesterday morning and it stayed that way absolutely no problem all day. Never popped off once. I didn't have any problems with it with where I know some of the other ties that I've tried to do in the past um, with a lot of movement and moving around, they end up coming undone and I have to redo them partway through the day. So um, there again, that is the rosette with the Irma. Let me show you. Um, it's the same process for doing it with the Carly. Um, but I just kind of want to show you how it changes the look with the Carly. It's super, super cute. Um, so bear with me. All right. So I've got my Carly right here. Um, and I like this because it's going to, again, it's going to kind of cinch in that Carly and draw it up some as well. Um, so I like to do this when I'm wearing my Carly with the leggings. So um, what I'm going to do, again, it's the same process is the last time as far as how we do it. But with the Carly, I like doing off to the side. So I'll kind of pull out my fabric over here. Um, I'm also not gonna do quite as much fabric, at least with this Carly, because this Carly is more fitted on me than that Irma was. So I'm gonna pull it out. Um, on that, I probably had about a three or four inch long little ponytail fabric coming out. This one, I only have maybe about one or two inches coming out. Um, and again, just wrap it around two or three times. So. It's holding it in place, but not too tight that it's going to, you know, really pick out or pull the fabric. Um, and then again, same thing, just kind of fluff this down. Oops. My fingers are not wanting to work for me today. All right. Oops fluff it down and around, and then you have your little rosette on your Carly. Whoops. Sometimes it can take a time or two. <sighs> All right. Try again.
See, when I practiced this earlier, I got it perfect the first time. And of course, now when I'm doing it on video, there we go. I think. <laughs> okay. So, there. Again, just that little rosette looking thing off to the side. And it really kind of just cinches in and brings in that car. It gives it a little bit more fitted of a look. Um, brings it up just a little bit in the front. So, super cute, fun. Um, just different way that you can um, that you can wear this piece. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you have any questions um, or if there's any other types of ties that you want me to show you. Um, I'm right now playing around with the perfect tee and I'm going to be doing another video here in a bit for you guys um, about different ways that you can style and tie and wear your perfect tees. So I uh, will talk to you later. Have a great weekend.